Bitcoin is a new type of digital money, and just like with all money, you can store it, exchange it, and make payments with it. The key to what makes Bitcoin different from national currencies like the US dollar, the euro, or the Japanese yen lies in its decentralized structure and opt-in model. However, before we start our video, we would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Now let's get started. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin, BTC, is a cryptocurrency, a virtual currency designed to act as money and a form of payment outside the control of any one person, group or entity, thus removing the need for third-party involvement in financial transactions. It is rewarded to blockchain miners for the work done to verify transactions and can be purchased on several exchanges. Bitcoin was introduced to the public in 2009 by an anonymous developer or group of developers using the name Satoshi Nakamoto. It has since become the most well-known cryptocurrency in the world. Its popularity has inspired the development of many other cryptocurrencies. These competitors either attempt to replace it as a payment system or are used as utility or security tokens in other blockchains and emerging financial technologies. Understanding Bitcoin In August 2008, the domain name Bitcoin.org was registered. Today, at least, this domain is who is guard protected, meaning the identity of the person who registered it is not public information. In October 2008, a person or group using the false name Satoshi Nakamoto announced the cryptography mailing list at metsdow.com. I have been working on a new electronic cash system that's fully peer-to-peer, -peer, with no trusted third party. This now famous white paper published on Bitcoin.org, entitled Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, would become the Magna Carta for how Bitcoin operates today. Bitcoin rewards are halved every 210,000 blocks. For example, the block reward was 50 new Bitcoins in 2009. On May 11, 2020, the third halving occurred, bringing the reward for each block discovery down to 6.25 Bitcoins. One Bitcoin is divisible to eight decimal places, 100 millionths of one Bitcoin, and this smallest unit is referred to as a Satoshi. If necessary, and if the participating miners accept the change, Bitcoin could eventually be made divisible to even more decimal places. Bitcoin, as a form of digital currency, isn't too complicated to understand. For example, if you own a Bitcoin, you can use your cryptocurrency wallet to send smaller portions of that Bitcoin as payment for goods or services. However, it becomes very complex when you try to understand how it works. Bitcoin's blockchain technology. Cryptocurrencies are part of a blockchain and the network required to power it. A blockchain is a distributed ledger, a shared database that stores data. Data within the blockchain are secured by encryption methods. When a transaction takes place on the blockchain, information from the previous block is copied to a new block with the new data, encrypted, and the transaction is verified by validators, called miners, in the network. When a transaction is verified, a new block is opened, and a Bitcoin is created and given as a reward to the miners, who verified the data within the block. They are then free to use it, hold it, or sell it. Bitcoin uses the SHK-256 hashing algorithm to encrypt the data stored in the blocks on the blockchain. Simply put, transaction data stored in a block is encrypted into a 256-bit hexadecimal number. That number contains all of the transaction data and information linked to the blocks before that block. Transactions are placed into a queue to be validated by miners within the network. Miners in the Bitcoin blockchain network all attempt to verify the same transaction simultaneously. The mining software and hardware work to solve the nonce, a 4-byte number included in the block header that miners are attempting to solve. The block header is hashed or randomly regenerated by a miner repeatedly until it meets a target number specified by the blockchain. The block header is solved, and a new block is created for more transactions to be encrypted and verified. How to Mine Bitcoin
A variety of hardware and software can be used to mine Bitcoin. When Bitcoin was first released, it was possible to mine it competitively on a personal computer. However, as it became more popular, more miners joined the network, which lowered the chances of being the one to solve the hash. You can still use your personal computer as the miner if it has newer hardware, but the chances of solving a hash individually are minuscule. This is because you're competing with a network of miners that generate around 220 quintillion hashes, 220 exahashes per second. Machines, called Application Specific Integrated Circuits, ASICs, have been built specifically for mining, can generate around 255 trillion hashes per second. In contrast, a computer with the latest hardware hashes around 100 mega hashes per second, 100 million. To successfully become a Bitcoin miner, you have several options. You can use your existing personal computer to use mining software compatible with Bitcoin and join a mining pool. Mining pools are groups of miners that combine their computational power to compete with large ASIC mining farms. If you have the financial means, you could also purchase an ASIC miner. You can generally find a new one for around $20,000, but used ones are also sold by miners as they upgrade their systems. There are some significant costs such as electricity and cooling to consider if you purchase one or more ASICs. There are several mining programs to choose from and many pools you can join. Two of the most well-known programs are CGIner and BFGIner. When choosing a pool, it's important to make sure you find out how they pay out rewards, what any fees might be, and read some mining pool reviews. How do you buy Bitcoin? If you don't want to mine Bitcoin, it can be bought using a cryptocurrency exchange. Most people will not be able to purchase an entire BTC because of its price, but you can buy portions of BTC on these exchanges in fiat currency like US dollars. For example, you can buy Bitcoin on Coinbase by creating an account and funding it. You can fund your account using your bank account, credit card, or debit card. The following video explains more about buying Bitcoin. Payment. To use your Bitcoin, you need to have a cryptocurrency wallet. Wallets hold the private keys to the Bitcoin you own, which need to be entered when you're conducting a transaction. Bitcoin is accepted as a means of payment for goods and services at many merchants, retailers, and stores. How does Bitcoin make money? The Bitcoin network of miners makes money from Bitcoin by successfully validating blocks. Bitcoins are exchangeable via cryptocurrency exchanges and can be used to make purchases from merchants and retailers that accept them. Investors and speculators can make money from buying and selling Bitcoins. Investing in cryptocurrencies and other initial coin offerings, ITOs, is highly risky and speculative. And this article is not a recommendation by Crypto World Vision or the writer to invest in cryptocurrencies or other ICOs. Since each individual's situation is unique, a qualified professional should always be consulted before making any financial decisions. Crypto World Vision makes no representations or warranties as to the accuracy or timeliness of the information contained herein. So that's it for today. If you find this video helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. Thanks for watching and see you next time.